Alright you guys, this is my gear that I'll be rocking for winter bushcraft trips 2020. Uh, first off, we're going to set off with the Alps Outdoors uh, hiking bag I got from my good buddy Steven at Hiking Deep. Uh, right below that, we have my Grandspur Brooks small forest axe. You guys seem to use that a lot. I also have my Titan sitting bag. Uh, ready for negative five degrees right here and a compression sack I've got lots of Hidden Woodsman pouches that I absolutely love I love Hidden Woodsman gear uh, good quality made in the USA I put all my fire stuff in this one my Agua Boreal 21 uh, saw that uh, fully folds down So we have that. If I do decide to sleep in a sleeping bag, I rock my emu uh, sleeping bag, or er, not sleeping bag, uh, sleeping uh, my hammock. Uh, again, another hidden woodsman gear. In here, I have my wood carving tools and a first aid kit that I made myself. All that right there is my wood carving tools. Uh, we have my DD uh, three x three tarp along with the stakes and uh, tie down line fort, uh, the Grand River Works small forest axe. Uh, over here I have like what I carry on snack food, I have beef jerky and some uh, cheese filled crackers. Uh, eating utensils, either I make my own bushcraft spoon out in the woods or I use my Sea to Summit titanium fork. Uh, I do have a Beobang uh, CB radio just in case. Uh, moving on to my recording equipment. What I'm recording on now is my GoPro Hero 5 that's shooting in 4K right now. So I have a mount for that, a chest mount. I have my battery pack. I have my Nikon. That is what I shoot 99.9% of my videos on. This is the uh, Nikon D5500. I have six batteries for it. I've got a little grip tripod as well. Uh, a little mount for my phone in case I need to use my phone or if all my batteries die. Some cables. And then I'm going to take you over here and we're going to show my cooking wear. This is my light skillet pan. This I got at Walmart. Uh, really nice ultra light pan. I've done a lot of meals in that. I have my zebra pot. I got the Joe Robinette uh, little pot right here that has the uh, little handles on the side. Nice little pot. My little twig stove, which I hopefully I will be getting a new one here soon. Uh, this one I've been using a lot lately. This was given to me by uh, Steven again at Hiking Deep. This is the MSR uh, cooking pot. This is real nice. Flip that up. And there you go. Uh, so there's that. Behind it's just a plastic little plate. I got paracord right there. It went over my recording equipment. Uh, I haven't forgot about the survival slingshot that I made. That I made. Uh, this is a Sawyer uh, Squeezy Life Life Straw little uh, water purification system right here. Really handy. I got an extra GoPro uh, GoPro Hero battery, SD cards. Uh, I got a Coast flashlight that you're seeing. my algene bottle uh, nice little bottle again I picked it up at Walmart there is another first aid kit all right going into my fire my fire kit which I use my Hidden Woodsman possible pouch for all my fire related items 
Um, always got to have uh, Bix. Bix are really reliable. Uh, it's not really bush crafty, but when it comes down to it, I don't want to freeze overnight because I can't get a fire going using a ferro rod or a flint and steel system. So I always carry two of those in my pouches. Uh, one of my favorite is the SOS ferro rod. That thing is huge. I don't know if you guys can make that out on video. Huge ferro rod, really thick. It's really soft too, so it throws down really good sparks. Uh, I don't remember the brand of this one. This was a gift given to me uh, for the holidays. I've used it a few times. It's actually a really nice one, and I don't really like using it out there. I'm afraid to lose it. So it always pretty much stays in my pouch. Uh, this is a ferro rod from uh, Black and White Firestarter Company. This one is really nice too. Really thick. Uh, all around good, good ferro rod. Uh, of course I got my steel. My buddy uh, Dave from Beastly Ironworks, his YouTube channel, actually made me this. Uh, so this is really good for like flint and steel, as I said. Uh, and then we got a cheap little Walmart uh, Co uh, Kogan or something like that. I can't remember the name. Uh, ferro rod necklace, a neck ferro rod. Uh, and this actually throws down pretty good sparks, so I, I I have no hate there. We got our emergency little uh, emergency little like lighter. You know, it 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 throws some sparks. It's all about how you get it. And then of course a few boxes of matches. Never hurts. Some juke twine. Magnesium. And ferro rod. And of course some like black and white fire starter. Um, black and white fire starter. This is like their candle. Uh, really good stuff in there. If you guys have seen my black and white fire starter reviews you'll under understand why I carry it because it's absolutely the best along with like the black and white fire starter stripper sticks these things are amazing I even got this great big huge one right here uh, then going into my knives real quick and like I said this is like maybe 2% uh, of what I actually have hitting in my closet behind uh, my backpack this is just what I carry during the winter time I've got my Mora knife I have a coast knife uh, which I'm actually really, really digging the, the whole Coast Knives. This thing is actually pretty nice. So there's that. And then this is the one you guys see me do my uh, Thanksgiving bushcraft dinner out in the woods. An Elk Ridge bushcraft knife. Uh, it comes with this sheath. It comes with, uh, there's actually a little kit inside, a sewing kit inside. Uh, in this pocket right here. You've got your uh, striker and a ferro rod like that, along with a sharpener to sharpen the knife. So it's actually a pretty dang good knife, in my opinion. And then for like a folder knife that I carry on me, uh, this is another Walmart buy, uh, an Ontario knife. Um, all around good knife. It's got nice weight to it. Uh, it feels really secure when it, it locks in and uh, comes out of the package pretty sharp so that's my folder knife and then uh, a must have that I don't see a lot of people talk about is a multi-tool. You would not believe how many times I've seen people uh, about lose their life uh, not carrying one of these multi-tools. This is just again a cheap little Ozark uh, Ozark multi-tool from Walmart so that's my knives like I said you guys see my my camera equipment uh, this is what I shoot all my videos on I'm gonna try to start switching to the whole GoPro and see how that works out so um, if I miss anything uh, leave me a comment down below uh, or any recommendations or if you have any questions about any of the gear that I have uh, like I said leave me a comment I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this turns out really good. This should be in 4K on YouTube. So if you guys have a 
a means of watching 4K. Uh, this should be a better viewing pleasure for you guys. Thanks again. Tyler Wood Bushcraft here.